Hello everybody and good day to you all today. I am talking about The Good Doctor, season number two, episode number seven, Hubert. This episode directed by Marisol Adler. And here we have some things happening. Just like always. First, let's start off with Sean and Leia. They're living together now, everything's going well, and they're going to the pet store to get a pet. And you're seeing that, well, Sean's not really comfortable in this place. He's not comfortable being touched and loved in a certain way. But you have Leia who wants to make things work, and so she's trying to find the perfect pet that, that makes both make both of them happy. Sean, a pet that uh, Sean's comfortable with, and, and a pet that she can enjoy as well. And they come up with a fish. They have a fish. They got a little tank. They get everything done. And they take the fish home. Everybody's happy. Everything's good. Sean goes to work, and there he works alongside um, Dr. Resnick. And, he, and 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 they have a case where this guy comes in. He has a little nail on his head. It's superficial. Nothing. Nothing. Big deal. They take it out. Everything's good until it doesn't. Turns out, well, something got punctured in his back, and he, he has he has to get a kidney. He had to, he got to remove a kidney. But the problem is, he only has one kidney. So they go to his brother and say, "Hey, bro, your brother's sick." He needs, a, he needs a kidney. You a good match. Give him a kidney. And he says, sure, I would give my brother a kidney because I love my brother. But I don't want, I want to part of the company anymore. So I don't want to sell the company. Have to uh, agree to the sell the company. And then I give him a kidney. And then you got this whole back and forth going on. The brother saying, I'm not selling the kidney. I'm not selling, I'm not, I'm not selling the company. I don't care if I, if I die. And you got this, well, he, if you, you want to live, and blah, 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 you want to sell the company, you'll get, you get this kidney. So you got this back and forth. And you got Sean and you got Morgan trying to figure out how to make these brothers agree to, to agree with one another without one of them dying. That's some messed up stuff. Then you have what's going on with Claire and her friend Kay and her, her other friend, um, her other friend, um, Dash, and, um, Kay and Dash are a couple, but Kay is sick and she's dying, and so, you have, um, Claire, who goes to, the, um, Dr. Mendez, Melendez, and says, hey, I know we're not on good terms, but you, you're the best doctor that I know, can you help my friend, and he says, sure, I'll help your friend, and through the process, they learn how to work together even though they're on like like kind of on opposite sides. He doesn't really fully trust her and she even though she wants to be on his good side and she's trying to give him all the, the praise that she possibly can give him, he's they still not quite on the same page exactly, but they but for for this because case right here, they managed to put the, their differences aside to work together to help this to help this girl out. And in the process, you have um you have um Clara's friend who tried to hook her up with her um well, I guess her husband. Because she's saying, I won't be here that long. Y'all two get along and know each other, and I'm pretty sure you could be you'll be good for him. I want my husband to be, have somebody who's who who, who can who be there for him and understands him and I choose and I choose you. And that causes some conflict there too, because well, you have um Claire who's been full up she's been pressured by her friend to move on with, uh, to move on without her and with her husband, but she's feeling, like, feeling a little some way about that. I just, hey, um, I know I love you and all, and I, and I do love him, but I don't want to marry him. Dang, never chick. You got to control everything. Which causes some conflict and stuff there, and, and also forcing to go on a very awkward, awkward date. And then you also have Mr. Glister Glassman. And well, he's having his ups and downs. He's also still, still a little, being a little bit stubborn. But it turns out the surgery, even though it is successful, there are some side effects. And it looks like one of the side effects is he may be starting to lose some of his memory. Which is not good if he ever want to be a doctor again. <sighs> when it rains, it pours. Overall, it was a pretty good episode. We did enjoy it a whole lot. It was very really a lot of emotional ups and downs here and there. I mean, especially the whole thing going on between um, um, the, t the two brothers... Fighting over the kidney, fighting over the company, the reasons why one brother wanted to keep the company in the first place, another one wanted to sell the company, and seeing them conflict like that, and also the, the whole touching and emotional thing going on with um, Claire's friend and her and her and her and her husband and their relationship, and watching and watching um watching 
watching Claire, watching her, her friends going through this, and she's trying to do everything she possibly can to help them, while also at the same time trying to mend the relationship she has with Dr. Melendez, too, which has, which was, 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 looks like it was going in that direction, but it seems like it's not quite there yet. I mean, you know eventually it's, it's going to work out, stuff is working itself out, but for and now, it's not quite on the right side of the fence. And then the whole thing, the emotional struggle with Dr. Glassman, and the things he's going through, trying to get himself back to where he was before, and it turns out he may not be getting, he may not be getting there at all. And see him, see him have to deal with that situation. Oh. Like I said, overall, great episode. What I enjoy has also, also has some uh, some sweet moments in here as well. Like you have Leia, who pretty much um taking care of the fish while Sean's at work, and the fish, well, the fish died. The fish died. It didn't, it didn't it didn't it didn't last last that long. It died, and then she's freaking out about that because she because she thing is though she left to go to Hershey to start a business with her brother, and that failed, and now she comes back home with her tail between her legs. She's staying with she's staying with Sean, and then she all she has to do is take care of the fish, and, and then that died. And so now, now she feels as though everything she touches fails, and she and she feels like a failure. She feels like a loser. Everything's going on the toilet, and you have Sean in his own way. Managed to help her out of this funk, but let her, but let also let her know that she's not a failure, and that because your company, the company didn't go the way you wanted to, it's not always, it's not all your fault, and neither is the fish dying your fault too. And he managed to encourage her and be there for her, and not in, in, in his own special way, which was quite beautiful and a very touching, very scene. I didn't enjoy that. I don't know where they're going with this relationship here. Are they just going to be friends? Is it going to be, be more romantic? I don't know. That would be very interesting to, to see where it goes. I actually do like their chemistry and I like them together on screen. So, anything's possible. Anything's possible. So, like I said, overall, great episode. We didn't enjoy it a whole lot. Leave your whole comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of The Good Doctor. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully, when you watch it, you will enjoy it. Have fun watching it, too. So, give my channel a big old like. Hit the thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it, like I always say in my dreams in my life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.